Hey guys, Benjamin's back here. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, so I'm just doing a quick portfolio review for uh, Nasir, I believe is how you pronounce it. I'm going to do just the desktop and the mobile version of it. Uh, just give my first impressions on the overall responsiveness, uh, some of the animations, the font, the layout, etc, etc. Um, I think I'm also going to go ahead and review his uh, social media presence as well, uh, just as a little added bonus. Um, you know, hopefully he appreciates that. Uh, but yeah, he had reached out to me on Twitter. I introduced him to the uh, CodeCareer.org Discord community, which you can just get to by going to CodeCareer.org slash Discord. And uh, in there, he got some decent feedback from one of our admins, Alex, and he'll also be getting a little bit of feedback from me. So anyway, without further ado, let's go to dive in. So uh, first, right off the bat, he has a nice introduction, says, hi, I'm Nasir. Uh, let's see. Okay, dig that. Um, I love performance as much as expert, and I try to be my best to create UX-rich performance websites and web apps. Okay. Um, I suppose the only thing I see here is if um, if you're gonna if Nasir is going to do um, you know capital case where like each letter um, of each word is capitalized, then I would ideally apply that rule to anything that's uh, four letters or more. So it would capitalize much and capitalize uh, create. Um, personally, though, I would I think I would prefer in on my own website just to have everything uh you know like a standard case so you just have like the i's capitalized and then all of the other uh, letters under here are lowercase i feel like that adds a better uh contrast between the header here and then the the subheader or description um, because this is quite a bit of text i would kind of regard it as a description um so i, I just kind of like to see that contrast personally but um overall good Cool, and it looks like you have a nice nifty animation here when you go ahead and hover over that, dig that. And it looks like it comes as a pop-up. All right, I like the pop-up. The uh, font is nice. The overall layout here is great. I like the separation of colors. Dig that animation, that's good. Uh, let's see, I'm grab my CV, find out more about me. All right, just take a quick look at this. Okay, cool. Okay, going back. Um, well, one thing I might recommend is keep these. Well, on, <clears throat> excuse me. On second thought, I do actually like the color difference of the footer here and the the button because it does cause the button to stay up or stand out. I was initially going to recommend keeping these the same color, but I like what you did there. Um, I think the one thing I would recommend is maybe changing this font, playing with it just a little bit, maybe making it a little bit brighter, um, you know, a little bit more of a, like a whitish color, um, just to make your, your key details stand out. But at the same time, I also understand that you want your core focus to be uh, the user clicking on the download button. So I don't know. I, I think there's there's a balance there, and you did strike the balance pretty well. Um, yeah, I suppose whichever way you're leaning, like if you, if you want to make that information more apparent, then I would make it a brighter, brighter color. If you want to make it a little bit less distracting and really focus in on the download button, then I would make the font there, uh, down here a little bit smaller. Uh, maybe keep it the same color, you know, just then that way it's not as, um, predominant and it's not pulling as much attention away from the download button. Excuse me, if that's the key focus that you want to have. But overall, dig it. All right, so let's close that out. Um, now, this is a, a nice large check of, <laughs> excuse me, a nice large chunk of text. Can't speak tonight. Um, personally, I kind of like to break things up a little bit. So if you have like say three, maybe four sentences, um, I would break that up into separate paragraphs or 
personally, I'm a fan of one to two sentences per paragraph, uh, just because for readability, people love to uh, kind of skim things, and it just it makes it easier on the eye. Uh, you know, there's much less reader fatigue, but overall looks good. Um, I think again on this, I would follow the you know a very similar uh, capitalized case as your um, description or subheader here. You know, try to keep this uh, capital case so each letter of a larger word is capitalized, and then keep this lowercase with the exception of the start of every sentence. Um, yeah, because it's just, it looks really weird to the eye, um, to the eye to see, uh, you know, like you looking web developer capitalized, but then there's uh, like, this is lowercase, that's lowercase, that's lowercase, um, but then comes back to these being uppercase. Um, just looks a little strange at first glance. So that, that's one thing I think I would address. Um, again, love the animation though. Let me go ahead and click that. Cool. And that brings you right to Twitter. Uh, let's do, do. All right. And your skill set. Again, probably the same feedback in terms of, uh, you know, breaking this out, making it look a little bit more readable. Um, one to two sentences per paragraph. Again, same thing with the text. Um, you know, Staying consistent with the the capital case uh, setup that you have, or lowercase setup. Um, another thing you could do, I do actually like the the overall readability of this. Like just peppering in your or putting in your uh, skill sets in in text. I like that. I like the the dotting that you use for the underlining. Maybe though, I would write like a paragraph or so about your skills like right here and then kind of like list some of your skills so like one two you know like um under that so i have like a skill here and a skill here and just kind of break it up so that they're like separate you know words um and you know maybe even add a an icon to some of these skills like css sass uh babel Redux, React, those all have their own uh, logos and, and icons for those. But um, yeah, overall looks good. Let's take a look at your work. Okay, so that just scrolls down to there at the bottom. Okay, I'm just gonna scroll back up to the About Me. Um, yeah, same thing I recommended with previous uh, text. Uh, see now this? This looks okay to the eye because, uh, you know, this is a couple of sentences. I think that looks decent. And it looks like you were, you were consistent about the, um, the capitalization on this as well. So this you have as capital case and this you have as lowercase. That looks good. Um, front end to back end. Cool. Like the graphics. Uh, would probably try to, uh, rewrite this a little bit just to make it a little bit shorter. Try to bring it down to maybe this much text. Uh, same thing with this. Keep them relatively the same consistent length. And I like that you write, or excuse me, center align a lot of your text, but I personally feel like you would best benefit from just having this as center aligns to make it kind of stylistic and draw the eye down to the hire me button. But then when it comes to, to this text, uh, I would probably make it left aligned just so that it's easier to read. Uh, same thing with skill set about me um, and probably these blocks of code here. Maybe I would leave this uh, center aligned just again because it's kind of a stylistic, um, you know, like starting point. But, you know, that's just kind of personal preference. Uh, let's see, then you also have my work. Cool. Click on both of those. Um, okay, and this section's a work in progress, so I'm not gonna, um, you know, really dig too deeply into that. I imagine you're probably going to have like a couple of uh, Twitter-like cards, or you know, like a couple of blocks here for your different projects. So that's cool. Um, okay, and these are a couple of the projects 
that you just created that I'm checking out. Um, okay, so yeah, I imagine you'd probably use something like that down here. Love this, really nice uh, drop shadow on these items. And same thing with this. Okay, so you developed some, some decent UIs and overall your user experience is really good. Um, biggest thing, honestly, that I can see is just the, the text throughout. But other than that, uh, it's, it's a great portfolio. Good use of color, good use of uh, fonts, and uh, good use of color contrast and overall layout. All right, so let's bring this up. Okay, and I think this is just a, a one pager, so it's just gonna bring you to each section. Love that animation, by the way. Okay, that just brings that up. And of course we have contact, cool. I'm gonna just go ahead and hit F12 on my keyboard, ensure that this is set to uh, iPhone, and just scroll back up to the top. Cool, and it looks like it is a mobile first design. Um, Yep, everything looks consistent here. Uh, you probably did mobile first, so I can see why you would want to center align that. Um, but I would probably still go with left aligned on that. Uh, now, skill set. This is definitely where it would come, I think, in handy to have, like I said, one to two sentences, and then kind of separate out some of your skills into icons or something of that nature, just so it's not like a huge wall of text. I know on desktop, not only desktop, but on mobile, when I'm scrolling through things, I don't want to have to read a, a giant wall of text. Uh, same thing with that. But again, overall, great job. Um, cool. Well, hey, nice job, man. I uh, really appreciate you sharing this portfolio with me. I'm just going to go ahead and hit F12 again. And to add a little bit more value to you, because this is only running at about 12 minutes, just going to bring up a couple of your social profiles. Probably won't uh, take a look at Facebook just because I don't have a Facebook account. Uh, come on, Twitter. Cool. Looks like you're doing uh, you know decent social social engagement. You're uh, posting things that are you know good things. That's a great way to market yourself. Um. I think for these, one thing that I would do though, is look for relevant uh, hashtags that you can start using because that's really going to help you get uh, additional exposure, exposure, excuse me, for each one of these. So see, for example, you, you paste, or excuse me, post something like this on a Monday. I believe the 31st was a Monday, let me see. Yep, so, <clears throat> excuse me. So you could do something like Motivation Monday on that or um, let's see, today was Wednesday, so you could do like a Wednesday wisdom on some of these other posts, in addition to you know a bunch of other things like maybe quotes, hashtag quote, or what have you. And um, that'll help get you a little bit more exposure on Twitter. Um, you typically wanna strike a balance between the amount of hashtags and, and the, the overall the size of the content that you have. But since these are images, you can pretty much get away with using, I would say, close to 10 hashtags, and it wouldn't really look too spammy uh, just because the content is large. Again, if you were just doing pretty much plain text without an image or, um, you know, doing like a video that only has like a little uh, display link on it, and then you would want to kind of shorten the amount of hashtags you use to uh, something more conservative, I would say, like four, maybe five, just as a rule of thumb. But uh, yeah, overall, it looks like you were retweeting people, engaging, and this is just kind of a surface level analysis. But um, yeah, so far it looks pretty good. So let me go ahead and pop over to your LinkedIn. Okay, um, would definitely recommend connecting with more people. Um, would definitely recommend using a personalized photo. Um, and not listing unemployed. Um, maybe a list uh, freelancer or uh, apprentice or, or something of that nature, just showing that you're making progress um, on whatever you're interested in in pursuing. Um, now in terms of you know like self-taught, um, again I would probably elaborate on that. You know, if you've done things like Free Code Camp or Code Academy, go ahead and list those. They actually do have those as educational institutions on LinkedIn. 
Um, and now, perhaps I'm not being, I'm not able to see your whole profile uh, just because of some of the settings that you have because we're not connected on LinkedIn. So that is a possibility as well. Um, but yeah, I would definitely recommend if you haven't done it to again set those institutions. Um, maybe put in some volunteer work, uh, put in some other projects that you've worked on, uh, perhaps start writing some blog posts or articles that you can include in here, and also include uh, you know what you've been working on because uh, you had mentioned that you're doing full stack Rails and React. Um, which is fantastic. I mean, if you've been doing that, then definitely include some projects and uh, some of those additional tools that I saw on your portfolio site in here. Um, while LinkedIn isn't the best to land a job directly with someone, it is fantastic to connect you with recruiters. Um, and that's typically how I would say I'd probably get uh, maybe a fifth of my job requests. It's just through LinkedIn, uh, you know, technical recruiters through LinkedIn. So just a consideration, but not something you have to focus on. But um, yeah, just wanted to say it was a pleasure. Thanks again for sharing your uh, portfolio with me. I'm excited to uh, have the opportunity. And um, if you're watching and you like this video and you'd like a portfolio or resume review, please feel free to check out the link in the description. We'd be happy to provide that to you for free with the little uh, caveat of, um, you know, I'm able to post it on my YouTube channel. I'm able to repost it on uh, Free Code Camp and other uh, code instructional uh, YouTube channels as well, just so I can provide more value to people. But uh, I also do have a private option if you want to go ahead and do that. Uh, I can do it privately for you. However, I do charge for that. Well, once again, this is Benjamin Spack. Just want to say thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you in another video.